furniture, and the latest home technologies, all to fit our design style? Sounds perfect, right? Well, the perfect guest is joining us today as I'm sitting down with Matt Phillips, co-founder and CEO of Parker Gwen, as they specialize in creating home experiences through furnishings and technology. So without further ado, please help me welcome Matt. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Before we start, I want to thank you for joining us today, but also hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date on all of the latest tips, trends, information, and inspiration right here in South Florida. So subscribe now and stay up to date. Matt, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having us. I'm really excited to be a uh, part of the uh, group here. You've been putting out some great content uh, and we're just really excited to be part of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I've, I've been familiar with you guys, you know, really over the past year and really gone on your site, interacted with you guys. You guys have beautiful product, but, you know, let's start and tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit more about Parker Gwen and really what you guys represent. Yeah, so a little bit about myself. I, uh, you know, I, I've been working in uh, retail my whole career and we started Parker Gwen in 2017 because I identified that, that there was just a need to really focus in on the home experience. And that's what Parker Gwen is all about. We, we cater towards that consumer who wants to create a lifestyle within their home uh, and do it with uh, high quality furnishings and home technology, where we think that there's just a massive opportunity for folks to really kind of uh, hone in what that is and showcase that in a way that's meaningful. Uh, when you look at the environment today, you'll see some beautiful furniture, you'll see some not so beautiful furniture, and you'll see uh, folks focusing on uh, consumer electronics, but no one has really brought that together and that's what we're all about. Uh, and we couple that with, with personal service. Um, yes, we are an online retailer, but we believe in the beauty of that, of that personal relationship and what that can mean. And it's not just all about logarithms and, and merchandising, uh, through science, there is an art to it, and uh, we appreciate that art, and, and we want to focus on our customers that way. Absolutely, and the thing is, like, when you go on your site, I mean, everything that somebody can see is you guys are so focused on the experience, really curating people's homes, and giving them that ability to have that experience in their own home, to re really be able to create memories. Um, but, you know, for homeowners or even, you know, design professionals, you know, what tips can you offer when it comes to homeowners or, or looking for furnishings or electronics, you know, as far as what they should, what the first step should be when looking for those products? Yeah, I think that, you know, really the, the first step that I always like to start with is what are you actually trying to create? What is this experience, right? It's, it's more than just a sofa or a TV. It probably represents something else, right? Whether it's a family movie night or, or watching the big game, uh, you know, you're trying to create those memories within your home and think about that first. What is that, what is that you're trying to achieve? From there, I like, to, I like to ask people to look for some inspiration. What do you like and what do you don't like? Uh, there's, there's some great websites out there. Socially, you can, uh, there's home shows, right? Get some of those ideas of, of what you like from a style perspective and then start building around that. Uh, as I said, with Parker Gwen, uh, we have folks that come in and they don't really have a, a good idea of what they want to do. And, and we help guide them through that. So if you work with a retailer or with a design professional that can help guide you through some of those questions or some of those thought process that you should have, I would highly recommend doing that. Absolutely. And the thing is, it's like when it comes to the consumer specifically, they know what they don't like, but they don't necessarily know what they do like. No. Um, but, you know, when it comes to trends, when it comes to styles, um, colors and textures are something that comes up in so many different ways. You know, what tips can you offer in regards to the best ways to maybe incorporate those two different factors? Yeah, you definitely have a balance. You have folks that just absolutely love color and texture and they'll, and they'll go all out. And then you have ones that, uh, that are a little timid. Uh, and how do you actually achieve that? So, uh, and, you know, for the folks that are a little bit timid, I always say kind of dip your toes in a little bit first. Uh, you can do it with the decor, right? The decor is uh, less expensive. Um, you can work with different patterns, different colors, different texture, and really bring them together um, in a way that, that, that allows you to kind of challenge yourself and, and push your, your into that direction. Um, you know, what I've seen that I think is highly successful is, is uh, it used to be this traditional thought process of all the woods have to match. Um, and that's no longer the case. Uh, that you can design a home where you have, say, a wood coffee table, 
um, and you have a stone uh, side table. That's perfectly fine. Uh, and it looks great in a home. And, and any, the little secret is if you ever look at um, uh, magazines or anything where they've actually, or a home show where they've actually put together these collections and showcase it, they do that. That's what they do so well. Uh, and that's where uh, consumers who maybe don't have that, that, that design eye or, or, or haven't really pushed themselves to do that, that's where they probably are missing uh, the gap between what the, the final designs look like from the professionals versus when they're doing it on their own. Absolutely. And the thing is, it's like there's so many different ways, just like you mentioned, as far as getting inspiration out there. And, you know, even something that, you know, I've noticed you guys do such a great job with your content on your, on, on your website, on your blog. You, you guys are always giving inspiration, how to mix, how to match, what colors to use. And it really gets people to step outside of their comfort zone and, and you know, take, take their home to the, to the next level. Because, you know, nobody necessarily wants their home to look like a, like a showroom. They wanted to make it feel like their own. But, you know, what can you share in regards to that? Well, that, that, that is uh, an awesome question because that's what we're all about, right? We want, as we are saying, we want it to be a lifestyle that you're trying to achieve within your home. And it's about those memories that you're creating. Um, and that doesn't mean that you want to create a space that is like a museum <laughs> where you can't touch it. You just look at it, right? And so there's always a, there's, you know, you, you want to make sure that you're creating spaces that are comfortable and usable. Um, and that's a big reason why we focus on technology as well, right? right. When you're in your living room, uh, you're probably going to be watching TV at some point. Uh, maybe not everyone, but in most cases, you're using technology throughout the day uh, to entertain yourself or to be more productive or whatever it might be. And so I always, I always think that um, it's okay to have some more casual pieces uh, right. potentially, right? So we do uh, very well in featuring uh, larger sectionals that are uh, down pillows, softer, more approachable, comfortable, uh, especially for the family, right? And family yeah. movie night. Um, you know, one, one example of that is that I always suggest uh, for oversized pillows, throw them on the floor, yeah. undo the room a little bit, get the, get the big throw, get comfortable when you're watching those movies. And that's a great and point. Worry, and then you don't have to worry about the popcorn spilling on your, <laughs> on your sofa, right? Because you have the kids down the floor relaxed. Absolutely. And that's a great point because I wouldn't have I've thought of just like the oversized pillows and having multifunctional furniture and decor and things like that. And, and, you know, especially, I mean, you guys, you know, really you're trying to cater to family. You're trying to creates a real lifestyle. Like it's not, like you said, it's not a museum, it's people's homes, but yet they want to be able to enjoy it, still accomplish the design that they want, but also keeping it kid and pet friendly. You know, specifically, that's a huge topic. I can relate to that. I'm yeah. sure obviously you as well, but uh, you know, what can you share in regards to maybe key tips to make sure you keep that functionality catered to pets and family and, you know, children? Yeah, and, and I think there's a, a thought out there that you can't have nice things uh, if you have kids or pets, right? <laughs> and uh, that's not necessarily true. There's a lot of ways that you can incorporate nice design, nice quality products within your home and still be functional uh, for your family. So a couple of uh, recommendations that we give our customers is look at the, the upholstery. Uh, is it high performance where it's performance fabric where you're not going to have to worry about stains and, and, and damaging your, uh, your, your sofa or your chair or whatever it might be. Uh, for pets, so I have two young children and I have a cat. And so we're always thinking about this as well. Right. Uh, our rug selection. We don't look for big loopy rugs in our home. I think they're beautiful. I love them. I wish I could have them. But today in my life, uh, at where I am at my, in, in my age and, and my kids, it's just not possible because it's easy to get snagged, right? And it's just not functional uh, to have it within that room. And then obviously, uh, there's kind of the key ones I think most people know. Don't have sharp edges on your coffee right. table. You know, try to avoid those things. Glass tops are probably not the best selection for you. Uh, so there's ways that you can still incorporate great design, great products. Um, but just making small little choices uh, to help you along the way. Absolutely. And the thing is, um, you know, when talking about furniture specifically, are there certain questions that people should ask um, when it comes to like factors of quality furniture? Because, you know, a lot of furniture, there's so much variation in regards to, you know, quality and what goes into it. But, you know, what should we all know when it comes to actually the, the construction and manufacturing side of, you know, a good product to have? 
Yeah, I, I would always look at the, yeah, the construction is, is so important. And that's actually a good point uh, of what we were talking about just previously is that a lot of times consumers will think that they need to get a very cheap sofa because their kids are going to ruin it. Well, right. it makes it easier to ruin when you get a cheap sofa, all right? And you wanna have something that has a solid construction and it'll actually last you longer. Uh, and so I think it's important when you're looking at the construction and look at the wood. What is the wood actually? Is it solid wood? Is it a veneer? Uh, is it particle board, right? Look at the actual uh, quality of, of the materials that they're using, and that will definitely help direct you towards uh, those better products. Absolutely. And the thing is, it's like, you know, it's not a matter of, you know, being, you know, getting something that's inexpensive, but it's, it's just being smart, doing your homework, you know, buy smart because that's, you know, people want affordability, but they want, you know, something that will last. And affordability is something when you look at over the course of the years, you know, uh, what's the life to it? But, you know, something that we touched on a little bit ago that I've been looking forward to really asking you because you guys have done a great job with the electronics and everything that you guys cater to. And you've really been able to kind of hone in on that you know, design oriented, fashionable type of electronic lines that's just not an eyesore, you know, that really integrates into the decor. You know, share with us a little bit about what you guys do in regards to that, that sector of your business. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's two uh, pieces in our, our assortment that we, that we feature all the time that I absolutely love because uh, it speaks 100% to what you're saying. And that is the Samsung Frame TV. Yep. And then the LG Gallery TV. And what's so great about these products is that actually, when you're not using them, when you turn them off, it looks like a piece of art. Uh, it literally looks no different than like this piece behind me. Uh, and it will even change the screen to become a more of a matte finish. You know how uh, yeah. LCD screens a lot of times have reflection. Uh, it will actually adjust that screen to, uh, to become more of that matte finish and look like real pieces of work. So those are two pieces that we highly recommend, but there's so many other ways that you can do it. Consumer electronics retailers have noticed that in order to become more and more incorporated in the home and, and be accepted by both the husband and wife, that they have to focus on design. And you've really seen that probably uh, since uh, a little bit before Apple, right? Apple has been very design conscious. Uh, there were some retailer or some um, manufacturers before that uh, that were doing the same thing. And as, uh, as we've been able to have technology that allows things to get smaller, sleeker, slimmer, uh, a lot of focus has been put on that design. Uh, within home audio, you can do in-wall speakers, uh, but that might not be an option for you depending on when you're, where you're living. If you're in a, in a multi-dwelling unit uh, where you can't install into the ceiling or into the walls, you can look at options where uh, there is literally speakers that look like pieces of furniture. They're beautiful wood finishes, right? And it incorporates nicely within that living space. Absolutely. And that's the key because, I mean, everybody wants everything to kind of be integrated together and be cohesive with one another. But, you know, obviously we see how the trends have kind of evolved to today. You know, what can you say maybe, and, and this is for, you know, whether it's furniture or the electronic sector, you know, how do you see the next five years as far as trends? Where do you think that the industries will start going towards? Yeah, uh, there is some exciting things that are coming out and uh, some of is actually public information, even if we look within uh, consumer electronics, we're talking about how they're getting slimmer. Right. Uh, there is patents out there and people currently working on this to have wallpaper TVs. Literally, wow. <laughs> it will come to roll like a poster and then you can just, you can put it on your wall just like that, right? And that That's increases incredible. the applications of where you can actually put this product or, or how you put it. Um, so I'm really excited about how this, this trend of design focus and consumer electronics, uh, what that actually means for the home and how right. we can incorporate uh, a lot of that technology. Smart home devices are going to keep coming. Uh, the most common one, uh, or the most common two is, is probably the, the voice speakers, right? With right. Alexa and Google assistant. Uh, but then also the doorbell security, uh, having that front camera to see who's coming to your home and, and making sure you feel safe. But those are gonna to continue to evolve. And how do we actually apply those applications throughout the home where you can walk into the home and it basically is taking care of itself. Um, it's it's gonna be an amazing world within the next five years for sure. Um, and, and when you look at design, you know, it, it's interesting because I feel like design uh, is changing faster and faster. 
Right. And I think a lot of that has to do with with uh, the internet, right? And having these social platforms to share ideas. Um, I'm in the Midwest. We're traditionally one of the last people to get new <laughs> designs from a trend standpoint, but that's changing. Uh, and that's a lot about what Parker Glenn is about as well, is we're always looking for what's the new trend. We're no longer waiting for California or New York or Florida to tell us what's the new trend <laughs> happening at the same time. Right, right. And it's funny you say that because it's like, you know, I feel like everything gets phased from one side or the other of the US, but really is coming from Europe, where I feel like we're a year or even two years behind of them. That's so it's like, <laughs> yep, yep. Well, so. there's a trend right now going towards lighter finishes of wood. Right. Uh, you know, for a period of time, it was dark walnuts and, and such. But now we're going back to, to a lighter, uh, lighter tones. That's exactly that's from Europe, right? Yeah. Europe brought that to us for sure. Absolutely. And we've discussed so many different things today. Is there anything that we've missed that you would like to touch on? Uh, you know, I would just say that uh, enjoy your space, right? Don't be uh, intimidated by it. Right. Don't, don't make it a cumbersome process. There are a lot of options out there. You can go online, walk in through furniture stores, work through a, a consumer electronics store, and there are a lot of options. But narrow your, nor, narrow your focus. Know what you want. Um, and even if you don't know you want, do some research and work with partners who can help guide you through that. That's, that's a big thing about uh, Parker Glenn is that we wanted to remove the noise and clutter right. that is out there that could become very overwhelming. Uh, and so we focus on better quality products, trend forward or on trend, and, uh, and we, we couple it with, uh, with personal service to help guide you through that. Absolutely. And the thing is, so, you know, share a little bit about the website, you know, obviously it's parkergwen.com. Um, but you know, when people go to your site, they're going to see that, you know, it's, it's easy to navigate and find product. I mean, you guys have incredible resources there. So. Yeah. So yeah, parkergwen.com is the website. Uh, a little side note, it's, uh, I mentioned my kids, it's actually named after my kids, believe it or not. So, uh, it's, it's really, uh, about creating that family experience to the point where I was, you know, named, but named it after my kids. Absolutely. Um, but we, we, uh, are really, uh, focused in on just trying to help consumers with that lifestyle. Right. And so, uh, we built it in a way that people like to shop. It's very uh, image oriented. It's not a lot of copy that it creates confusion. Right. It's a different experience than what you would see at a lot of the larger retailers that are out there. Um, and we also designed it for a mobile experience. So 70% uh, of people are, are shopping uh, through, with us on their mobile device. Um, and, and that's the way people like to consume content these days, right? And so we're right there with them and making it an enjoyable experience. Absolutely. And I can't, you know, recommend enough for all of you out there. Check out Matt and his team at parkergwen.com. Um, they have an amazing product lines. You know, you're going to be inspired just by seeing it. Check out their blog because their blog specifically has inspired me as well. You know, uh, talking about that, I, I recently saw the, um, uh, the update in regards to using black you know, the color black, it's like one of those intimidating colors. You don't know how to use it, you know, use it. I mean, it really adds an incredible dimension. And I love that piece that you guys put together. So, you know, it, you guys stand by the trend, which is, you know, exciting to see and you, you make it an easier process. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. without a doubt. But, you know, Matt, I want to thank you again. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in today. Um, you can always check us out on all of our social media at FL Home Shows our website at homeshows.net, but make sure you subscribe, comment, and you can always get all of the latest tips, trends, information, and inspiration right here in South Florida, and I appreciate it, but until next time, thanks again, Matt. Thank you.